Chateau Lace Tunic first. We're going to rock and roll and hopefully it stays for you guys. Mother's Day is just around the corner and this cannot be a more perfect, beautiful, gorgeous dress to celebrate yourself, your mom in your life, mother figures in your life, whoever you are, whoever you mother, whatever, whatever role you play, or um, if you know of a mother, this is just a beautiful, beautiful dress for something like a special occasion that does not have to be just for Mother's Day. You can wear this for anything coming up. Weddings, graduations, um, you guys know, this is the time of the year for all things kind of celebrating. So we wanted to give a really, really kind of special, very beautiful, gorgeous tunic type dress, okay? So um, I would say this is kind of just like a boho fit, a little bit wider at the neck, nice flowy sleeves, nothing's really tight on this. This is cross size for that reason. So extra, extra small, or extra small, 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 medium, large, extra large. Um, because there isn't a whole lot of fit to this. Just a really, really easy flowy dress. You can see all of this crochet. This is on a stretchy, um, I'm gonna take it off the hanger and I'll probably, probably throw it on for you guys. <laughs> this has been working lately, right? Okay, um, so it's on this crochet, um, the crochet, all of this is just crocheted on here on this mesh. So there is a little bit of stretch in it because of that. Um, but you shouldn't really rely on the stretch and that's why we were able to do cross sizing in this. I'm just gonna throw this on. I know this is not how I would wear this, but I wanted to show you how really, really pretty this is. This is extra small, small, and this is my size, my size now. Okay, so it is sheer, obviously. Now, so this is, I have the bodysuit on, which we're about to talk about. That is not what I would wear under this, but I wanted to show you just kind of the easy fit of this and then look at how pretty this gorgeous, um, you know, kind of linear pattern goes down, a little bit of a scalp edge, nice flowy sleeve. Again, not a whole lot of fit through here. Um, nice neckline. And then it is sheer, obviously. You can see my jeans through it. You can see my body, my black bodysuit through it. Um, we did that for several reasons. We want you to make this piece what you want this piece to be. So this can be used as a swim cover up if you just want to throw a layer on and you want to see underneath. This can be a tunic if you want to put one of our perfect fit tanks over it and a pair of skinny jeans. I've got my Mel's favorite jeans on, but I would do skinny jeans under this, perfect fit tank under this, and have that kind of tunic look. Or, da da da, we created a dress extender that fits and designed perfectly to fit underneath this, okay? So normally, our, I'm not even supposed to talk about dress extenders, but I think we're gonna kind of do this together, so I'm gonna talk about these, these two combined. Normally, our dress extenders have like the spaghetti strap, adjustable strap type of thing, very stretchy line in the back. You guys know, right? Familiar? We did a, first, this is our first ever tank flutter extender. Now, if you remember our flutter extender from the past, okay, that was a, a top extender. So it came to probably around right here. This is the dress version of the flutter top extender, now in a dress form. So if you remember that one, the body, just like our, our bodies are stretchy. However, this is a full tank. So this does not have adjustable straps. This is fitted through the bust. This probably is due to that. This is probably our most fitted extender that we've made yet because it's very different than the construction of our other extenders that have that really, really stretchy bust line due to the shaping, okay? So um, I would suggest in this one, I'm kind of jumping around, we're gonna go back to this, but <laughs> we're gonna talk about both at the same time. Um, I would suggest if you're between sizes, go up in this one. I'm between sizes, between extra small and small. I prefer the small in this. The extra small is just too fitted through my bust um, back in my shoulders for me. So keep that in mind. If you size down in our extenders, do not size down in this one. In our other extenders that have the adjustable straps, have the really stretchy elastic line at the back, those a lot of people can size down in because of that elastic line in the back. With a tank extender, you can't, you can't do that. You're just relying on the stretch of the fabric. So keep that in mind. If you want to kind of compare it to something, I would say it's even a teeny bit more fitted than our perfect pocket tanks, which run, which is more of a fitted design of a tank for us. Um, well, I wouldn't say fitted design, but it's like more fitted than our t-shirts and things like that, okay? So this is a dress length and it is, it is not a high-low, okay? So this gives you the versatility for pretty much any dress in your closet. A lot of times we make the high-low extenders, we make a lot of high-low dresses. This is not a high-low, <laughs> this is not a high-low tunic. So, 
um, we created the, the extender to go along with it. Yeah. Rewind it back <laughs> to the tunic. You are going to need something underneath this unless you're wearing it as a swimsuit cover-up. Okay, so keep that in mind. Whether you do a tank, whether you do a swimsuit and just have it as a swimsuit cover-up, clearly it's a sheer, <laughs> clearly it's a sheer um, style, but we wanted to give you the versatility in converting this into a tunic or converting it into a dress. Okay, Holly's in this one. Um, she is also in the extra small small, so same size here. Okay, this is the other thing I wanted to show you. I wish I had white on, which maybe I'll throw this on in a second. But what you put under this is going to kind of warp and convert the color, okay? We've talked about this before in different pointels and things like that. Depending on what you have, what do you, you've got black, right? So you got it all black? You, you got all black. all black. I don't know why I look, I come up here to like look at you where I can just turn <laughs> in here and look at you. But what you put under this is going to kind of convert the color and tone of it a little bit. So keep that in mind. So if you're not like a dusty blush, I think we call it Mesa Rose, it's a really pretty color. But what color you go under this is going to kind of give off or mute or kind of change the color a little bit. So she's got all black under hers, you can see. Okay, and just flip flops. You can go, you can go kind of casual with this. You can do tunic thing like this, or you can dress it up with the extender and turn it into a dress, which you'll see in a second. Okay. Natalie in this one and Natalie, you're in the small medium. Okay. So this is a good example of her being like between sizes. She's like a medium large. So that's where we don't have the crossover in sizing for this. So she can go down to the small medium in this one. And I'm in the extra small small and then you can see look at what we did I, I didn't talk about this yet which I'm going to but we really created this extender underneath to create a really seamless effect underneath the dress we're almost like it's meant to fit it it is meant to fit it right we wanted to really show off and let this um, lace all the lace details show off and that's what that extender does underneath that and then just adds length kind of just flutters at the bottom. That's what we've always loved about our flutter top extender is those Godet patterns in there. Just add that ruffle at the bottom. Okay, really, really pretty on her. Gorgeous, you guys. It's beautiful, beautiful without under it. And you're going to see it, and I'm going to put it on, well, we'll see. What's Michelle in? <laughs> Let's see what Michelle in. And then I'll, I can put it on too. Okay, Michelle's in extra large. Yeah. Large. Okay, so she did more of the tunic style. She put it on a pair of skinny jeans. And then what do you have underneath yours? Tank. Oh, perfect pocket tank. Okay, perfect yeah. pocket tank. Okay, so you can make this, you you can do the tunic style, you can do the dress style. You do the dress style, you're gonna need something to go under it to do the dress style. Otherwise, just throw a tank under this, perfect fit tank or whatever, and you have like a dress, a uh, tunic style look, okay? So this is just like the flutter top extender that we've done in the past. Very, very similar to that, okay? Remember, we're going into this next. We're just, we're just gonna head into this next. This has, okay, your jersey, stretchy jersey knit up here, and then it has these Godet panels in this kind of crepey woven, cream crepey woven, woven fabric, okay? The way that this works, you can kind of see those, maybe, <laughs> maybe not, but those are all meant to collapse and give you that flutter, okay? Give you that flutter at the bottom, okay? So size small, which is the size that I prefer on this. I don't have a ton of room. I'm not busty. There is some stretch. That's why I don't like going to the, the down to the extra small. So your between sizes def definitely go up. If you just want to make sure that in your bottom layer that you have lots of room and lots of flow, even in your normal size, or if you're busty, I would, I would suggest sizing up in this. Again, you don't have that normal like super st stretchy line in this extender like you do in our other extenders because of the tank version. So why we created this, I now currently have three layers on, <laughs> okay, is we wanted to create a seamless, okay, ignore the black bodysuit, <laughs> ignore that. We wanted to create a really seamless, okay, oh, you guys, I'm sorry, I should have really just put this on first. We wanted to create a really seamless look through this so that it truly looked like one piece. Okay, now you're gonna say, I have extenders in my closet, can I just wear those with it? Absolutely. The extenders you have with it though, we've never done a tank extender before, so you will get like a straight line and then you'll see spaghetti straps, which is fine and looks looks good. We've tried it on like that, we saw that it worked like that, but I really, really wanted, especially for like Mother's Day and special occasions, I really wanted this seamless effect really to match the line of the dress to line up um, with a tank and then also get the full, guys, I'm so sorry. The black underneath here is this 
horrible, okay? But, but uh, to also get the full coverage back here. This allows you this pattern, the, the crochet pattern, to really stand off of the design. Now, if you're someone who's like, I want a muted, oh, where did that? Um, we have a perfect fit tank that's like a, um, perfect, okay. This tank, I don't, what do we call this? on our site, I don't know. Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose, okay. If you didn't want the crochet to really pop, you can go Dusty Rose under this. Okay, look at this. Now, if you want a more subtle look, look at how this works. Look it, okay? <laughs> In a tonal effect, okay? Then you get just a really, really subtle, then that lace isn't popping. Okay, and you just get that really subtle tonal look in this. So you could do this tank. This is the uh, Dusty Rose tank, and you could do a pair of skinny jeans under this, or a pair of leggings under this, and then you can, you guys get, can, can this is translating okay, <laughs> okay. But then you get a really pretty tonal effect where almost like you're wearing like a blush, a really pretty dusty blush dress. Okay, so whether you, <laughs> You like the popping, I like the popping, I like to bring out how pretty all of this crochet work is, or um, don't, then grab our Dusty Blush, or grab a, um, like if you have our, if you have like our um, graphite, would look really, maybe I'll try that on in my stories. Um, the graphite would also bring out, like would it would allow the lace to show, but it wouldn't pop as much as it pops on the white. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that all out. It's basically um, sharing <laughs> that whatever you put under this, you're kind of warping or creating a different tone, tonality, color, whatever, depending what you put on it. But the dress, the Godet, I mean, not Godet, the <laughs> Flutter Extender is the perfect length, adds the right amount of length to turn that into a dress. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can pair it with any other extender. You can pair it with if you have the original longs and you're short or petite and you can actually kind of turn that into a dress like I did like in my try on stories a couple of weeks ago. Pull that thing all the way down, put a pair of biker shorts under it, and then um, you could be totally good that way too if you're petite and short and can use our, or if you have our perfect, we did actually make perfect fit tank extenders. No, perfect tank dresses back in the day, long time ago. If you happen to have one of those, use that okay so this and this the pieces are sold separately but like I said you can find so many dresses in your closet now that this is a level hem this is not a high low it's cream in color and you will see a little bit of the transition your dresses should kind of come to collapse like how I had it on where just the ruffle kind of comes out underneath that that's kind of how this is intended the two different materials are key here because um, we really need the ruffling in the woven uh, down here to create that nice really pretty gentle flow against the hem of your dress okay so if you are a flutter if you're a fl big fan of the flutter top extender here's the dress extender version of that top extender for you and again if you're busty if you're between sizes I would size up on this you're gonna feel like this is a more snug fit than any other extenders that we do have although it's the same material and stretchy because it doesn't have that elastic line in the back you do, do get more of a feel of a tank fit um, underneath it okay all right Anna says I really wish the extenders are made oh your words are cut off I don't know made for petites um, you guys, our extenders can absolutely be made for petites. This is a really, really great way to, um, to add length. I mean, this, this works for all heights, <laughs> all sizes. Now, our ones with adjustable straps can give you more variety coming up and down. This is going to give you a nice, um, even length at your knee. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Just the extender. This is the only color in this extender, which is like this cream, nice, really soft cream color which honestly looks really, really good. The cream looks really, really good under this Mesa Rose, okay? Okay, I mean, we can move on. Oh, the girls, do we have, are we bringing out? We are bringing out. We are bringing out. We're gonna show you some other ways that you can wear the flutter extender, okay? Holly's in this. She's gonna have on the, okay. So 
this is perfect. This is showing you other ways <laughs> that you can wear this extender. Doesn't just have to be with this dress. Obviously is made to fit the dress and does work with the dress perfectly. But like I said, you have other dresses in your closet where you might want a little bit more length, just want that little flutter coming out instead of lace or sort of other extenders that we've done in your past. You just get that little gentle ruffle, which is really, really great with this. Okay. So Holly's showing it under the chambray. Natalie's in this again with another option to show you okay the baseball tee dress that we released last week two weeks ago whenever that was you want a little bit more length just want to add a little bit of ruffle underneath that great solution here to let that just drop out of the bottom of that dress okay again i love that this ruffles and it's not necessarily lace you're not elevating it completely but you're just elongating that dress and adding just a little bit of a touch okay i stuck with the size large you did oh okay and the that's good to know okay. in the in the extender she's going with the large so she can medium's probably going to fit a little bit snug on her like i said it runs very very true to size so it's probably the snuggest fit that we have in it is the snuggest fit that we have in any of our extenders okay keep that in mind um and then michelle in this one and she put this one underneath the ivy kimono so if you didn't grab the high-low with that, wanted something with a little bit more coverage in the tank and, and through the back, this is a great solution here. Of course, it doesn't drop with the high-low hemline of the of the kimono, but adds just a pretty little ruffled, ruffled touch in the front of that one, okay? Okay, only available in the cream. You guys, we only did this in one color. We felt like it was really paired to match with um, the Chateau Lace Tunic. So only in one color for now, but know if you love it we always try to do more okay um melanie i wear the small in this i'm between an extra small and a small between sizes and the extra small is just too fitted and i'm not even busty but i am broad um the extra small is just too fitted too tight for me and um through the bust so it runs very true to size so between sizes you're going to want to go up if you just know that you're busty if you're a true size and you're busty and you just know you're going to prefer a little bit more room then i would probably go up and 